<laughs> okay, next one. Está como puga tras la orelia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Está como una puga tras la orelia. What's up, guys? Hola. Hoje tengo a primera aula de portugués para o charade. Today is your first Portuguese class. Are you ready? I'm so ready. All right, I'm cool. Pumped. So I've done this video a couple times. I did it with Michelle. I've done it with my sister. It's, it's always fun. It's always interesting to learn about these expressions. I think you're gonna do well because you Cause you I'm always Brazilian. do well. Yeah, you're I'm Brazilian, Brazilian already. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I feel like we talk even more with expressions than like regular. So these are. are I these... think you talk more <laughs> with expressions. Fair, fair. Touche. Yeah. Touché. So let's just get right into it. Okay. So this first one in Portuguese is pagar un mico. Pagar un mico. Yeah. So, and the direct translation to English is to pay a monkey or to pay the monkey. Okay. All right. I'm, <laughs> I'm feeling good. I think I know this one. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so it's like it. um, paying a ridiculous amount of money. Oh, I can see where you're going with that one. So <laughs> it's funny because some of these, the meaning direct from the translation, you can pick up right away what it means. In English, we have an expression, your back is up against the wall. Yeah. So if you literally imagine that your back is up against the wall, you can kind of guess what the expression means. Some of these, and this is one of them, don't make any sense in the literal sense. Uh, okay. Pagar un mico, so it was actually the first expression that I learned in Portuguese. Ooh. So I wanted to make it the first one that you learned in Portuguese. Oh, we're so cute! <laughs> First expressions. Yeah. <laughs> Let me use it in a sentence and see if you can get it, okay? okay? When I first arrived in Brazil, I didn't really know what I was doing with culture and customs and that kind of thing. So I paid a lot of monkeys. You're like paying for stuff that you don't need? It's not like in the sense of paying money. Uh, oh, like you learned a lot of lessons? Yeah, I kind of learned a lot of lessons or made a lot of mistakes. mistakes like yeah, I yeah. embarrassed myself oh, a lot. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I, it's funny, I actually made a video, uh, one of the first videos for Gringos No Brazil was about a mico that I paid or a monkey that I paid when I kissed a guy on the cheek because there was like a line of girls and I went to like greet all of them and you kiss on the <laughs> cheek and then at the end of the line of girls there was a guy and without thinking I just kissed the guy on the cheek. <laughs> That's that's hilarious. Yeah. The kiss, the kisses, dude. The mm -hmm. kisses on cheeks are a, a huge. You yeah. know, Spain is too. I have so my other my stepdad's Lebanese, uh -huh. and so they do three. Oh yeah. But then some. But then some of them will only do one. So every time I'm going up to a Lebanese family member, is like I'm stressing like how yeah. many kisses. <laughs> I want to get know? this right. Yeah. <laughs> I still haven't yeah. figured it out. But yeah, so that's your first expression cool. in Portuguese. Pagado mico. Yeah. Okay. All right, next one, amigo da onça, which uh, translates to friend of the jaguar. Amigo da onça. Uh-huh. So the actual, like, amigo da onça to me sounds like BFF, so like best friend, like my best friend, mm -hmm. but like the literal friend of a jaguar. Yeah. I mean, I'm friends to many jaguars. <laughs> but, but... Are you? What does that even mean? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but... Is it like best friend? It has to do when you're talking about a friend, but this friend has certain, they do certain things. Oh, a very like unique friend. Like you love them, but they do a lot of weird stuff. No, not exactly. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you an example, okay? I keep lending my friend money, but he's a he's amigo da onza, mm. and he never pays me back. It's not bad friend, but like a, a draining friend, like always asking, like needs something. Kind of. It's like a friend who is always taking advantage of you. Okay. T yeah. Yeah. Okay. Friend of a jaguar sounds so cool. It sounds like something cool. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's like, I'm yes. friends with the jaguar. Friend let's of a go. jaguar. Let's go. <laughs> um, oh, well, that's sad. Yeah, I it is. It is. <laughs> All right, cool. Number three. Pareji ten ovidos. The walls have ears. Pareji ten oídos. Ovidos. The walls have... Like, everyone's listening? 
Close. Like, be careful what you say. You're really close. I'm gonna give you credit for getting this right. <laughs> okay. The the exact meaning is that like if you're talking about somebody or something and you think that somebody might be able to hear you and you don't wanna you wanna get to a more private place to talk about it, it's like the walls have ears. Let's not talk about this oh, here. Oh, okay. So okay. Yeah. Nice, dude. You, oh, yeah, you were really close yeah. on that one. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, next one. Fazer vaquinha. To make a little cow. <laughs> <laughs> so first thing, vaquinha always sounds like vagina to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so immediately whenever I've heard vaquinha, I always like, like a little kid, I'm like, hee hee hee. That doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> um, well, to make a little cow. Yeah. Fasad, like to get a little. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Not, <laughs> <laughs> not everything has to do with dance. <laughs> no, like, like hook up. Oh, like, get your mind out of the gutter, oh, Shermod. Jeez. God. <laughs> oh, I thought it was close. Okay, so this one's kind of hard to explain, but it's like to gather money or like save money or maybe like uh, ask money from people and then like put it in a piggy bank and go and like uh, save the money to do something or to like, it's like crowdfunding or crowdsourcing. <laughs> <laughs> All of that is in Fasad Vakit. <laughs> yeah, and I was actually reading, so this, this phrase, this expression actually came from a soccer team who the fans of the soccer team, uh, Zerem Vakinya, they like donated money so that they could play the pay the players of the team if they won this game. Oh. So that's where the expression comes from. All right, next we have a hoys da festa or a hoys de festa, so like party rice. And you use it like somebody is a hoys da festa, like this person is a hoys de festa. Oh, so um. Like the life of the party. Not exactly. That's a good guess, though. It's um, not exactly uh, that. In Spain, it's carne de fiesta. It's like the special meat, and it's always like the best cut. So this is nothing to no, do. No, it has nothing to do with that. <laughs> um, I don't know. I okay. <laughs> so this one is somebody who's always down to go party. Or is always like, hey, man, let's go. Let's go. We got to go here. We got to go there. We got to go. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. I mean? yeah, totally. It's Just like somebody the, the kid, you're like, do you do anything but like party? Party? What? Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. Okay. Or, yeah. Cool, all right. Custar os olhos da cara. To cast the eyes of the face. Like a beauty that's like... <laughs> <laughs> You're getting so deep with these. Like, I can just see, I can just see your mind going like, all right, let's see. Hmm. It's got to be something deep and meaningful. Well, no, well, it's just to cost the eyes of the face. But and to I cost like a uh, price, not like sacrificing. Oh, so it's so it's like, oh, you have to like pay in a like a bunch of money for this thing. Like it's a ridiculous amount. Okay, yeah, cool. okay, exactly. Okay, something okay. is really expensive. Okay. We have a similar expression, which is to cost an arm and a leg. <laughs> I knew it was. It was somewhere there. It was rattling. Because since I've been learning with you Portuguese and stuff, now mm -hmm. I have... I, I usually have three languages oh, yeah. in my head, and now yeah. I have four. Mm -hmm. So now things... I thought it was because someone was so beautiful that it cost the uh, eyes to their face, so it was like blinding. Uh -huh. But yeah, I'm too deep. <laughs> yeah, you're... <laughs> some of them you need to be deep, and some of them are more like shallow. Okay. And they're okay. just kind of more literal. <laughs> All right, next one. Engolir sapos. To swallow frogs. <laughs> like, say it in a sentence. I want sentences. Okay. All right, all, right, all, right, all, right. <laughs> all right, here's an example. Michelle... No, that's a bad example. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> never mind, never mind. This... Girl I dated before Michelle, she would always make me dress up to go out to dinner with her friends. And I would always swallow the frog. Oh, like you, like our expression would be bite the bullet. Yeah, bite the bullet. Do something that you don't want to do. Yeah, for the, for, yeah. yeah. That's, that's. <laughs> <laughs> so everything's perfect with Michelle though, guys. I, they, no I, problems. Yeah, I see it. They're, they're <laughs> angels. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next one. Está con a puga atrás da orelha. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Está con a puga atrás da orelha. You gotta wait for me to translate it, right? 
<laughs> All right. To have a flea behind your ear. Um, like the little voice in your head? Ye- kind of, but what's the little voice in your head telling you? Well, I'm guessing a flea's bad, so telling you to do bad things? Like devil, I'm thinking devil angel and like it's the devil. It's to be uh, very suspicious. You're in a situation and you don't necessarily trust what's happening in the situation. You're like, I don't know, I have like like an itch behind my mm. ear, like I have a flea, like this situation doesn't make I have a feeling, me... yeah, I have a yeah, feeling my God. Yeah, that something's not right. Oh, yeah. okay. Wait, so, estar con <laughs> a pulga atrás, atrás da Aurelia. 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 <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Why are you doing that with your mouth? Oh, I just, I feel like I have to do so much for that word. You're complicating it. Aurelia. I love to do that. Just yeah. love you. Aurelia. Aurelia. That's good. Yeah, you got it. Cool. Bater na mesma tecla. Batar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like to hit the same key or the same button. So like you keep having like the same problem keeps ari- arising? You're close. It's like more when you're trying to resolve the problem or when you're trying to convince somebody to do something. You're like, I keep hitting the same button, but they're not doing what I want them to do. Or like you're being oh. very persistent with something. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I, that that explains it. Yeah, that one's more literal, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, okay. See, hi. Cool, so what was your favorite expression out of these? Well, so the one that like I'd use the most and I liked that was batar, batar na uh-huh. mesma tecla. tecla. Uh-huh. That one, that one I liked the most. Um, the vac... Kenya one just sounds funny. <laughs> but my favorite is Pagar un Miko. Pagar un Miko? Because it's our... It's, <laughs> we, yeah, it's, it's our, it's it's our, our thing. It's your, it's your first expression it's in Portuguese. It's my first expression. I'm yeah. pumped. I'm pumped. <laughs> então, gente, muito obrigado, Gerard. Mais uma vez. Gracias. Espero que vocês tenham gostado do vídeo. Não esqueçam de se inscrever no canal se você é novo aqui. E isso, espero que vocês tenham uma boa semana e tchau, tchau. Tchau.